You ready to fight? You ready? Well, if any fighter can go 10 hard fives, it's probably Max Holloway. So let us see how he approaches the early portions of this round. This is a guy who has put forth statistically the most amazing striking performance I have ever seen against Calvin Cater back on Fight Island. You're getting punches and bunches from Max Holloway. Of that you can be sure. And he will let his opponent stand up here. He gets to his spot, the tie pool. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Yet another knee landed there by Holloway. So some clinch work early as they close distance. Jermago Medoff's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Ooh, he didn't see that one coming. Beautiful combination of tech. Straight right, he misses. Double leg shot. Oh, what goes up must come down as he slams him right on the canvas. Huge moment in the round. It excites me to watch somebody land those types of technique. The impact of that slam takedown was felt at the desk and in the first couple rows. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Well, you see why Holloway is such a fan favorite. Beautiful land there with the left hand, and now we'll see what he can do with it. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Nermago Medov's back inside control here. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He is now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. Well, Khabib Nurmagomedov might have been able to win a kickboxing match here tonight, but taking the path of least resistance and really having his way on the ground. And, John, I think that points to the fight IQ, knowing that you possess all the skills, but you stay in your wheelhouse. You take your opponent down over and over again and try to drown him. Habib has long said he will take you in the deep water. He has done that tonight, and that is why he's been so successful. 45 seconds remain in the round. Takedown defense holds up. He's got the single collar tie. Well, he has stayed busy, and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There was a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who is... Round two is here. Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Max Holloway. Our right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick the sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together in the sort of skill level of these two fighters. Holloway gets up. He is back on the feet here. He gets the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times that his opponent sees the cut, and the cut is advancing. Khabib's doing a nice job there. You saw him raise the guard to block that offering from the opponent. Don't want to sustain any more damage on that cut that has already been opened up. Oh, big elbow. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, a huge block there. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Fighters separate from the clinch. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Great punch from the clinch here. All right, so we can 
continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He is just outclassing this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight's playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Oh, these are some impactful knees he is throwing, and I guess until his opponent adjusts, might as well keep throwing them. He's going to keep going to the well. Why would he change it? His opponent has not been able to figure out these knees. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Habib's in half guard now. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. On to the mark. 15 seconds remain in the round. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Let's go, take those body shots. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Back to the single. Well, it's a bloody Saturday, folks. He's really starting to leak out of that eye area, Danny. Boy, he's leaking, John. He's wide open. The eyes are beat up. The guy's taking a beating. And the blood has to be affecting his vision at this point. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, elbow from the bottom there by Nurmagomedov. Back to his feet. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful and address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. Massive knee lands from the tie post. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised and yet leaning on the heart. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. Vision is compromised, there's no doubt. All right, pretty good series of knees by him there, so mixing up the striking really well in this fight tonight. Fantastic fighter, but when he added knees to his game, he became even better. Right now they separate. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice block. Fourth we go. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter. Take the judges out of it. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Huge left hand. And a knee. These guys are leaking all over each other. Oh, man. Oh, massive diving punch. Flush to the head. Oh, another ground strike.
strike gets through. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage out of him. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You gotta lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five, five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five, and this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Effective punch from the clinch there. To look at the size of that bruise on his body, his opponent will likely continue to attack. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Nice defense there, huge block. Khabib's definitely targeting that same eye over and over again. Why would you not? Some serious damage already sustained by the opposition. In the tight clinch, look for the knees to start. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landed. Oh, another knee. Oh, another one. All right, so a swing and a miss there, and largely due to fatigue. His stamina is low, and he's got to figure out a way to conserve some... Oh. That'll do it! Khabib Nurmagomedov gets the finish. Oh, boy. With that, we now go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 31 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle, Hermano Meta. All right, so the